Hey everybody, uh, I'm actually on vacation right now, but I thought I'd record a quick video on fixing a window regulator in a 2003 Lexus ES. Uh, the issue was um, pretty common. Uh, you roll down the window and it stops and it won't go back up. Um, it'll Or it'll go up in just small increments at a time. It's usually a bad motor. So what we'll need to do this repair is a trim removal tool a screwdriver and a uh, 10 millimeter uh, socket wrench so we're gonna pry um, behind the uh, door handle we'll just pry off this cover you gotta just work the tool into this little crack and the cover will pop off and you will see a uh, Phillips screw that we need to take out All right, the next thing we'll need to do is we'll need to pry out the window controls. Uh, just going through the front and back of the window controls with your trim removal tool and the thing should just pop off. And we can use that tool to uh, push the little tab and remove the connector. Next thing we'll need to do is lo locate this, a single screw in the back and uh, take that screw out. Okay, there we go. Once that screw is out, um, you'll need to uh, take the uh, your trim removal tool and pry out the um, little snaps all the way around the sides and the bottom of the door card and just give it a little pull to uh, unsnap everything and then you can lift the uh, door card right off the door but uh, don't pull it completely off because there's a bunch of wires that we need to disconnect uh, there are two rods that green and with a green and black end that come from the um, door handle that we need to unclip as well as uh, several connectors and the uh, the door light that we need to unclip. Once that's done, we can take the door off, the door card off. On the uh, left half of the door, there's a there's a plastic uh, shield that we need to peel back. We don't need to take it all off. We can just um, take half off and the the right corner off, and just stick it in place to out of the way so we can get at the uh, the bolts. We can also take the speaker out because we'll need that uh, opening for later on. Once that's done, uh, we want to reconnect our um, window controls and see if we can uh, lower the window enough to get uh, so we can get at the bolts that hold the, uh, the glass in. Once that's done, we need to uh, we can use our 10 millimeter wrench and uh, remove the two um, short bolts that hold the glass onto the, uh, the window regulator. Make sure you uh, keep these bolts because uh, uh, they're different than any. All the other bolts are the same except for the two that hold in the, the glass. So you need to make sure you don't lose those. So at this point, what we just need to do is just uh, wiggle the glass until it's um, free and take it out of the door. Okay, once that's done, we can start taking out the uh, four bolts near the center of the door that hold the um, 
left half of the uh, window regulator in place. They're all the same, so um, uh, these can be used in any part of the window regulator. There should be a total of six. There's also um, going to be two more on the left side of the door underneath the plastic. We'll get to that in a second. plastic up you'll see uh, two 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts that need to be removed once these are removed the window regulator will um, just fall out of place you can then collapse it and pull it out through the, uh, the hole yeah, initially I was going to just replace the motor but um, I figured that uh, this thing is 20 years old, so it's probably um, all crusty and in need of replacement. So uh, the old window regulator's um, out, and what we'll do is um, I have the new motor, but I'll need to. Um, salvage the screws off the old uh, window regulator to um, use on the new one for the new motor in retrospect it's a lot cheaper to buy this um, as a set uh, as I said I, th I think these were the regulator was 45 bucks and the motor was around 20 something but uh, it's cheaper as a set So once those screws are out, we're just going to um, assemble the new regulator with a new motor using the old screws. And um, there's a spring, a clock spring on the regulator that, that'll kind of fight you when you're moving everything together. So um, but once it's uh, in place, then it'll, it'll stay. Uh, this um, uses a T15 um, uh, bolt. Put a little grease in there to uh, keep everything running smoothly. And we're ready to put it back in the car. Okay, so um, as a tip, there's a, a key-shaped hole in the door. If you insert the upper left bolt on the, the center part of the regulator, you can use you can insert the bolt through that keyed hole, and it'll just hang there, making it easier to uh, um, insert the other three bolts. So you don't have to uh, hold it as. Um, you have something to hold it in place while you insert the other bolts. On the uh, the two bolts on the left, there's a square hole, and the uh, regulator is keyed to fit a little tab to fit in that hole that uh, that serves an alignment. Uh, jig for the uh, for that side just put those two bolts back in and tighten everything up reconnect the uh, motor connector and we're um, ready to put the glass back in the 
before that, we'll just do a quick test of the regulator to make sure everything's running smoothly, and it is. So we will put it in a position that makes it easier for us to uh, insert the glass. Once we uh, tighten up the bolts on the glass, we're ready to um, cover up the hole with the, with the plastic and um, test the operation. Reconnect the window controls and run the window up and down. Seems to work fine. So at this point, we're done. Just reconnect the remaining um, things in reverse and thanks for watching.